Um, well, the biggest key for success for us tonight was we didn't want to let that game be bigger for Westlake than it was for us. Um, sometimes other teams get more excited uh, about the game than sometimes our team can. And so we've been challenging guys all year long to be excited about the game, be excited about this opportunity to go out and compete, and don't let it be a bigger game for them. And I thought you saw that, especially in the second half. I thought we played hard in the first half, just not very well. But I thought in the second half you saw guys lock in and begin to get the performance that we were looking for. And then how much is that going to play out for the rest of the year? You know, you guys happen to play sometimes maybe four quarters or getting to that fourth quarter because people are, you know, they pumped and coming out, you know. Well, the, the team, first of all, this is 7A basketball in Georgia, and there's some stud teams out here. So um, if you're talking about being the last team not crying at the end of the season, you're going to have to play four quarters in overtime and overtime into the last seconds and minutes of the game. So I thought that tonight was a really good test for us because Westlake's got a really good team. I mean, I would expect to see them in 6A, um, you know, com competing in the Final Four um, as the season goes along. But um, I thought that we showed our conditioning a little bit tonight. I think we showed um, the depth that we have tonight, too, because we had guys in foul trouble in the first half, and so you saw some different combinations of lineups out there. Um, but give our guys credit. They, they stick together and they play together, uh, and then they stuck through it into the second half. Well, if, the, if these guys are talking about being collegiate basketball players, you've got to be held accountable. And so the thing for young people to hold them accountable is somebody next to them that looks like them. So if they're not getting the job done, we'll play the next guy. We, we got 10, we got 11 guys in uniform every night, and all 11 of those guys can play. So there's no hesitation on me as the coach from the guys not doing what he's supposed to do. Man, letting them sit a little bit and try to figure it out and bring the next guy in. And the, and the next guy's probably pretty good. We, we got a really good deep team. How do you guys prepare? You know, you got another game tomorrow. What do you guys do? You go home and get some rest and come on back tomorrow and watch film? Or how do you Yeah, guys well, I'll, I'll get home and watch some film tonight, and then um, we'll have shoot-around tomorrow. We, we usually have about 40 minutes shoot-around. Um, then I let the guys go back home and eat and get themselves ready, and then we, uh, we show back up and get ready to go play. Um, but the biggest thing really is, is rest, and we don't – it's kind of funny. We don't talk a lot about the other teams. We talk more about us. Um, so the scout report can be really quickly. We usually do a scout report the day of the game and then get ourselves prepared. But if, if we do what we're supposed to do, the other team has to make some adjustments, and that's our goal every night. Excellent. Anything else you want to share out there, Coach? No, nah, man, these guys are working hard. Really proud of these guys, but it's just the first step of a long season. Hey, Pop Scout Hoops, that's my man, man. You want to follow Pop Scout, that's the guy.